All right, let me quickly go to what I have done to get to the state I was in. So this is the state I was after stretching my three channels to nonlinear, which is what I've been doing with um, Easy Soft Stretch, which is a script I wrote. So I got all three channels aligned, basically using an Easy Soft Stretch. I don't use to use linear fit for that. Either way, I stretched them all, then just RGB combined, and I got to something like this, which is surprisingly little in H alpha, or rather very little in in green for some reason. I guess the other channels are pretty strong as well. In any case, I took um, an invert first because the stars were magenta and I didn't want to have that. Inverted it, did SCNR green, or we're using a star mask. Inverted them again and now they are not green anymore. Then I did another stretch and <clears throat> the stretch I've been doing was I took the R channel and cut it off basically at this point. So I pushed it into, I stretched it further or rather I stretched it less so it fits better with the other channels. And it ended up with a stronger green, which is also fine. And then I took another stretch for everything, if I'm not mistaken. What did I do? Oh yeah, I took everything here. Um, I clipped a fair bit and then just stretched it further to get about this histogram. And this is the state I was in. Then I took a clone of that for some reason because I'm stupid and did try a few different things. And there I started by doing a local histogram equalization. Nothing too special, very large scale, 512 scale, uh, radius 1.5 contrast, 0 0.25 amount to give it a bit more pop in the contrasting thing section. After that, I took it into curves and that's where the first um, ABC curves and saturation kicks in. So A is very slightly changed as you can see. Uh, it's a bit to the top here, green shifted a bit, red shifted a bit. Same for the B, it's really, really very minimal and you don't need a lot of changes here. Same for the C. Didn't do anything here. I think I also pushed the low range saturation up and the result was something like that. After that, I took some more curves to the stars, but didn't change that much. So I'm just gonna skip over that. And I threw my <clears throat> star reduction over it because um, I like to have less pronounced star field, I guess. Then I took a more uh, an MMT sharpening pass. As you can see, you can, it does sharpen the smaller structures quite nicely. It's not very difficult. It's just a very slight 0.01 to 0.04 values up in the bias of the channel uh, of the layers two to four. Of course, it depends on the data. After that, I threw on another curves with, what did I do? Oh yeah, I changed the B channel and the A channel again a little bit. So it's more like a slight S curve here. And here's just a bump in this direction, which didn't do that much, but it uh, intensified the yellows here. Then I threw another local histogram equalization over it with a smaller radius, but the otherwise same settings. After that, I took another histogram transformation by clipping the R channel even further and stretching it even further to intensify the SAI, which resulted into a more oranging, orange hue on the outside. Uh, let's throw in another local histogram equalization with even smaller scale to make it pop a little bit more. Threw in another, <clears throat> another histogram transformation 
where I, what did I do there? Let me check again. Okay, so I stretched R a little bit more and de-stretched B, which resulted in, a, it's very subtle. I don't know if it's even gonna show in video. And this, and then for the last step, I threw on another saturation curve, which gave it the final orange look that I wanted while keeping most of the contrast intact. So I didn't do any denoising on the RGB or anything anymore. In fact, the only denoising and everything I did was on um, SII and O3. That's the only channels I denoised. I didn't even deno bother denoising the H alpha channel because it resulted in a weird thing. Anyway, that's pretty much what I've been doing with the RGB here and that resulted in this. So I clipped a fair bit at the edges everywhere, but that was necessary to facilitate the colors that I wanted. So it's a play of the histogram tr uh, transformation channels in tandem with curves, um, ABC and saturation.